Hello boys and girls, this is Miss B here, coming to you from my home in Murfreesboro. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about art supplies. Um, I put a wish list up on my website and up on Class Dojo, and it's just that. It's a wish list. It's what would be awesome if you could bring in with you, but you don't have to. If you don't want to or you can't, we'll find a way to make it work. As long as you have some supplies, um, you can make it work. Okay? These are just recommended. They're not required, so don't freak out if you don't have them. Okay? But I am going to show you point by point what they are and what I like about them. I'm going to try to keep it quick because once I get started talking about art, I just keep on going. Um, this is, very simply, a gallon bag. You can get a really fancy schmancy one. You can get a canvas bag. You can get a um, pencil holder container for all your stuff. But I'm just showing you the most basic one. This is a gallon bag, it's got my name on it. I recommend you put your name on everything, especially if your parents or your guardians bought it for you. Definitely put your name on it. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a folder. <gasps> Does anyone recognize this little guy? Yeah, it's the child from the Mandalorian. So cute. Also has my name on it. I don't care what your folder is covered in, just kind of make it your own. Um, the only thing I really do care about is pockets. Your folder should have pockets to keep your artwork in. Keep it nice and safe and keep it with you. Um, it would be really great if your folder had prongs or little holes like this where we could put paper in and um, attach it and make it another kind of sketchbook. But if you can't do that or whatever folder you really want doesn't have that, that's fine. Uh, this is a sketchbook, and I'm using that word very lightly and loosely. Um, it's just a little bit of stapled paper. Whoop! Oh, this one's not stapled. Um, it's a little bit of paper that I put together and folded for y'all for you to do your sketchbook prompts in. So you should have this provided by me, not yourself. You're good. Um, you can have a sketchbook container or a pencil holder, but you don't have to have one. This is a lovely one given to me by Ms. Hopkins. Uh, do, do, do. What do we got in here? Ha ha! Paint brushes! Yes! I would recommend you get a small one and a big one. The round brushes are my favorite because you can make really, really skinny lines with it if you barely touch it to the paper. But if you press down pretty hard, the bristles spread out like that. Can y'all see it? The bristles spread out really, really well and you can cover a lot of um, paper that way very quickly. If you can get both and you have to make a choice, even though most kids are like, yes, bigger's better. Get the smaller one. The smaller one is much easier to do a little detail with, and you can still cover big areas. It just takes longer. Crayons. I feel like crayons are very underappreciated in the art world. I think they're great. They have wonderful texture. Their colors are bright, and you can definitely make lights and darks and mix colors with them. So get you some crayons that are rainbow colored. <clears throat> Sharpies! Sharpies are definitely just because I know you guys like them. They're really, really bright, really vibrant. Check with your parents if it's okay for you to have Sharpies because some parents don't like kids using Sharpies and that is totally okay. This is really just because I know you guys like it, not necessarily because I want you to have it. <laughs> Pencils! Pencils are pretty much number one. You gotta get a pencil if you're gonna be an art. If you got a pencil, hopefully you have an eraser or a cap eraser or a little pink one. Just find something to where you can erase your pencil marks because if you are a human, you will probably make a mistake at some point. Let's see what else is in here. Mm, oh, that's it for this little bag. Oh, no, no, no. Glue stick. You can totally get a glue stick. You don't have to get glue sticks. But if we do some collage work, which we will at some point, um, glue sticks are a wonderful thing to have as well as scissors. But again, these are just things that you can bring and would be awesome for you to bring. You do not have to, okay? You are still welcome in art class. You can still make art without them. Um, if we are doing something very specific and you don't have that supply, we'll find a way to get you that supply or something very close to it, okay? All right, markers. Yay! I do not love markers. I'm just gonna be real with you. They are not my favorite. I feel like they're really hard to do texture with and they do cover a lot very, very quickly, but I don't like the little streaky parts to it. 
Nevertheless, if you can't get watercolor, like a watercolor set that's on my wish list online, um, get washable markers, just like a nice bunch of rainbow colors, and we can totally get the paper wet after we've colored and turn it into watercolor. So you can totally use these instead of watercolor, um, which I will probably do because I don't have a watercolor set. Now my favorite thing, other than drawing and painting, is using colored pencils. I just think they are so fun. You can get such teeny, teeny, tiny details. And a lot like crayons, you can go really, really bright, or really, really soft and subtle colors where you can barely see it. So I like the range in um, these kinds of supplies. But that's really it. Um, oil pastels were on my list. You can totally add other things. Um, I don't have oil pastels on me, and guess what? I'm still an art teacher, and I don't have all my supplies. So you are still an Awesome Sauce art student if you do not have all your supplies. These are just ones that are really good to have and will make art class easier for you and allow you to have more choices when we're doing stuff. Um, but I will do my best to get you the supplies that you need in order to create. You'll always be able to create one way or the other um, because I'm your art teacher, and that's my job, to help you create. That's it for our lovely little art tour. Um, I hope y'all are having a great night. I will talk to you again soon. Don't forget to be awesome and goodbye.